Okay, I'm back, friends. I had to get the door. It was a delivery for some toilet paper. <laughs> my, my son had ordered toilet paper to the door. Pretty funny, pretty funny. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I have my uh, wax pen, my uh, napalm uh, cannabis, and I might smoke another cigarette. We'll see how we go, how it goes here. Sorry, I had to cut that one short. I was right by the door, and I don't want to make people come all the way downstairs to answer the door when I'm right here. <laughs> I'm starting to relax me. <laughs> you had me feeling funny all day. Yeah, the 13th is when I do my ritualistic work. I do the I'm do the candles, but I'm also been doing fat burning. So I've been doing some extra, just some extra things. And then with my dad's passing, um, one day, so 15th, so the 16th, a day, one year, one day after, I could start putting, bringing a picture out of him, of him, or something special of his. Or I can, I can include him in my prayers, you know, at night. Um, usually we don't do anything until after a year and a day. But typically 18 months is more comfortable. So, you know, 16 months, 18 months. But I like to do my stuff in October. You know, I like to do like fasting, more fasting. I've always been an October girl because my birthday is in October, the 22nd, two double twos. So, um, and you know, I love Halloween and all that. So I'm probably going to do my grave work then. I was talking to Esmeralda about that. So now with um, this COVID and all this going on, anyway, you know, but even even without it, I would have to say no to going out in the next day or two to his grave site because it's hard for me to walk. My heart gets really, it goes really fast. I'm kind of heavy, so I'm, I'm uh, you know, I've been trying to lose some weight. So, yeah. But it really, it's not just my weight. Uh, I was in a car accident. I'm a car accident survivor. In case you don't, guys don't know, most of you do. I'm a car accident survivor. So I'm on, I'm in pain all the time. And I use medical marijuana and I, um, um, and then I like using this pen in my spiritual practice also. So we've got more than one reason, <laughs> more than one reason. And I've been an herbalist since I, you know, 16. I've been an herbalist for 23 years, you know, 25 years. Or it's just in my blood, you know, an herbalist, and you know. I'm like a natural-born saleswoman and an herbalist, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to have some. This is a green tea mixed with a Starbucks. So I'm going to go ahead and get this lit. i got to get another marble. And I think that will be all for today. I'll try to do another ritual tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I'll try to, yeah, I'll try to do one or two tomorrow. If not, for sure, on Dad's Day, 15th. 15th, but for sure, yeah, the 15th, but I have to do it on the 16th. <laughs> it's part of my religion. So, yeah. Mm hmm I like how long these are. <laughs> to me, like, this is like my wand. <laughs> hmm. But I do find it distressing just puffing it out. Inhaling, I just choke. <laughs> I'm not really a smoker, no. Not at all. So, 
Yeah. But I do notice it really helps cut cut the appetite. Maybe a fourth or a half, <laughs> you know, what I would normally. Oh yeah. Because I mean, I can eat very very healthy, but in I can eat pretty big portion. Like if you look at my videos from a couple years ago, really healthy. Maybe not a lot of calories, but out like a big salad with crab on it. I could barely choke down a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, because it just it just does something to appetite, but also I'm doing them. The weight loss spell that I put on my own channel help works for me. My weight loss spell. With my candles. My own spell works for me. My videos are all encoded and work for me. That's why I watch my own videos. I'm not trying to be vain or a smart ass or uh egotistical or jerk you know um i i typically a lot of times i'll sing i'll sing and i'll sing along with myself i'm kind of a loner too i'm like a lone wolf. i'm kind of a loner but i'm kind of you know i'm multifaceted i'm very popular and uh i'm empathic i'm deeply empathic psychic and clairvoyant you know I, I'm so many things it's like a dancer a singer a mother a, a nurturer I was a chef for years chef saleswoman herbalist <laughs> marketer you know you name it you name it dish and bottle washer <laughs> all of that you know apricot farmer starter you know Farmer, <laughs> gardener, pet owner, <laughs> you know, can't describe me in one word. It, it'll take a lot of words. <laughs> hmm. Oh, get smoke in my eye. <laughs> See, I like to just take it in and then... It's a little bit harsh on my tongue. <laughs> through my nose just a little taste but yeah I can't take too much of it <coughs> I quit all the way down to zero and just did a gum nine gums you know it tells you the gums and then nothing and then four or five days with nothing yeah so I'm, I'm not addicted to cigarettes or or need them I can use a, a pipe tobacco I can use nicotine free. I just I just kind of enjoy the smoke, the uh, whole ritual of the smoke coming. I like kind of like that. And I have really strong lungs. Great lungs. Kind of made my me stronger. When I start to get sick, uh, to me tobacco like kills viruses, kills cold, kills bacteria, kills viruses. Cause I have the flu and it actually recovered faster. Oh yeah. A little cinnamon tea and I'm ready to go. I'm well, you know, garlic. I, I, like I was saying, I've been doing herbs my, you know, whole life. Huh. Here's the filter. A little more chatty on that one. Um, no, I'm not talking. I'm kind of a quiet lady to myself. I've kind of, you know, uh, I'm running my household and my kids are, uh, they're uh, online school so they have a schedule where they have to be in a class with the online and uh, in between they do chores and just normal family <laughs> but I do find that this cannabis does help my spine because when I was in my car wreck on my spine I messed up my spine my back my knee you know I messed myself up so I'm lucky to be alive <laughs> I always say that. I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> and um, Guardian Angel Ariel and Arch yeah, Archangel 
Ariel and Michael saved my life. Oh, the seatbelt. The seatbelt saved my life. And uh, like guardian angels. And yeah, they, God and Jesus saved my life. I don't know what to tell you. You know, you're either a believer or you're not. I'm a believer. I've always been a believer. Yeah. Hope y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. And feel free to check out my 2018 playlist. Um, the quality is a lot better because I have uh, my the, my uh, phone used to work. But I'm just using this tablet. And I apologize that it's kind of dark and it's not, you know, the highest, most expensive quality. But I am budgeting and I have... Uh, a large family to raise, so do the best I can. All right, take care. Bye.